Hey y'all, it's Empress Lex Hashem. And I realized I didn't even stage. Sorry, I wanted to say age, but um, it's Empress Lex Hashem. I wanted, I just did reading on the current energy of Blue Face and Christian. Oh, goodness. But, um, and Jade and Alexis, because she's a part of this. They might as well, yeah, make it a trio. Um, what well, are these trio? I wanted to do a separate video on um, some channel thoughts I had and this it was one that's quite interesting yesterday I was going to work and it was raining it was like Hurricane Fiona and all of a sudden I started thinking about Kobe Bryant and Aaliyah and I was like huh and I'm like oh yeah both of them died in fiery um, plane accidents the thought wouldn't leave it was still there so I'm like okay what other connection do they have well Aaliyah's a Capricorn and Kobe, well, Aaliyah was the Capricorn, and Kobe was the Virgo. So I said, okay, this is something about Earth signs, I believe. So, so, um, so since this was yesterday, I moved September 18th, Aaliyah, Aaliyah and Kobe Bryant. I was like, they wasn't even around in the same times area? I don't think so. Um, so I googled September 18th, the Lee and Kobe Bryant. Then there was an article about five celebrities who died in plane crashes. Um, the last plane accident was in 2020, right? Which was Kobe. Uh, so I was looking at the days. You have John F. Kennedy Jr., he died in 1999, with his wife Caroline and sister Lauren. Jenny Riviera, 2012. James Horner, 2015. And Aaliyah, 2001. So I'm still like, what's the connection? What's the connection? What's the connection? Besides them being earth, earth signs. I think somewhere it was saying... Aaliyah um, is a Virgo moon. I was really trying to figure out what's the connection. Besides the obvious. So, I was like, is it connected with numerology? Wow. That's funny. I just Googled the years, even though I could have did that with my head. And, um... The connection is... Wow, I just sat up there and made sure I calculated it. Uh, it's 19. Today's the 19th, I believe. Yes, the 19th. So, I, I said that happened yesterday. So, the Kobe died in 2020. Aaliyah died in 2001. They died within 19 years of each other. And if you look at the numbers, if you believe in numerology... Lee was also 22. This, this is what I have. There's going to be a famous celebrity that's going to die. No. There's going to be a death between the end of this year or next year of a famous celebrity that's going to die in a, f a plane accident. Either going to a job. There, it's going to be on a plane. It's going to be quite similar to Kobe and Aaliyah's death. And it may happen with the rest of the time we have this year or next year, since next year is 2023. And Aaliyah died. When did Aaliyah die? Dang. This is going to be an earth sign. I want to say their person's going to have Taurus in their birth chart.
And I think it's going to be a woman. If that happens, yo. Because most of the people have died. Wait. It's going to be a woman that dies, I think. Because Jenny Riviera died 2012. So let's see. Yeah, so it's 11 year difference between Jenny Riviera and Aaliyah's death. So next year it'll be a 12 year and January every year would die in 2012. Yeah, I think there's going to be a celebrity with Taurus in their birth chart, particularly a Taurus son, a female celebrity. I believe is going to die in a fiery plane accident between now and next year. And that's a bad prediction. It may be a male, but I think it's going to be a female. I didn't know this. I'm just seeing it going to work, and I was like, why am I thinking about them? The distance in between the deaths have been getting bigger. And Chloe's been gone since 2020. strange thing that's been happening to me um that kind of coincides with this my dad's birthday is december 9th and i found out pnb's birthday is december 9th and jenny riviera has my dad's birthday as well so i don't know i feel like i'm getting my my spiritual guy i feel like it's my dad and i've been getting messages just by his birthday I know it sounds weird as hell. You guys probably don't care, but I find it interesting. I didn't know much about Jenny Riviera, but she has the same birth as my dad. And P&B has the same birth as my dad. I never knew that. That's my prediction. I hate to predict that. Um, somewhere in a chart I believe it's going to be a Taurus sun more so and everyone's going to be shocked and for some reason I think it may be an African American celebrity since the last celebrities have, that have died from plane accident have been of African American descent. And I want to say that the person may be older than 40, since Kobe. You got 22, 40. The person may be older than them. But don't quote me on the age part. What else can you, spirit, what else can you tell me about? This accident, this this accident, spirit. What else can you tell me about this accident? What else can you tell me about this accident? Accident. What else can you tell me about this Y'all, I can't make this up. Well, I can't make this up. The first card is the death card. I asked Spirit, what else can you tell me about this accident? 
The first card is death. Water, Scorpio, energy, 13. Ooh, goodness. I hope this is not saying that this is going to happen on the 13th. In Scorpio season? When is Scorpio season? That's October. So, this can happen between October 23rd and November 21st. Or the person or the person that dies is going to have Scorpio on their chart. And then you have the King of Wands upright. This person is passionate. Is seen as adventurous, like fearless, and sometimes is impulsive. It may be a male. And then you have the Scrimp card. Oh, wow. And eight is just overall change. Overall change. Overall change. This person has a lot of influence. Like they, this person has like some power. Whoever this is, they're a strong individual. That was weird. Okay, um, What the fuck? What the hell? I'm not going to take all those cards that fall off, but I'll take that first one. You. I can't read this up. I said, what else can you tell me about the accident? The, the uh, five of cups in reverse pops up. Oh, wow. It's saying... What I was saying a oh, while wow, for him is this is Scorpio energy too. So, I hope Spirit isn't telling me that this accident is going to happen really soon in Scorpio season. Because it came out again. And Scorpio is endings. Is the energy of accepting and moving on? And then the, car, the, car, the scrim card popped up again. So this person has some influence. And then you got the Two of Pentacles, which was trying to pop off, but I didn't read it. I didn't read it when it was, I saw it was trying to come out and sh shuffle. But it's like the energy of overcommitting. Okay, so maybe the accident is going to be because of the person has so many jobs lined up in one day, so that he's he or she is rushing to get to the other one. And... Everything the plan the whole day was is disorganized. It's a lack of balance and everyone is overwhelmed on that day. Spirit Spirit, when is this accident supposed to happen? Clarify when this accident is supposed to happen. Give me a direct answer when this accident is supposed to happen.
I'm not getting a direct answer. It gives me Virgo season and number 10, whereas we know 10 is completion. Like, the energy of this person's job is done. It's not giving me direct answer. You got air energy, which I do feel like it's going to be an air accident in the air. And the Scorpio kept popping up. Spirit, clarify again. When is this going to happen? Or did I already get the answer? That's why you're not going to answer it again. Spirit, did I already get the answer? When is this accident going to happen? When is this accident going to happen? When is this accident going to happen? When is this accident going to occur? Y'all saw that? That was a Justice car. Air Energy Libra. Libra season is in October too. It's Libra and then Scorpio season. Alright, I'm not going to take that one. Just remember that came out. This is excellent. So it's time. cancer energy the two of cups the knight of pentacles is this what is this saying this person gonna die while like going to get married and the hierophant yeah I think that's what this book is saying so it's this person is going to be, and remember I said the person's going to be, they're going to have Taurus in their chart. Higher friend is Taurus energy. This person this person is going is traveling. The day this accident happens, this person is going to be traveling to like a mar a, a wedding or something of that nature. Oh, it's going to propose something to do with marriage and proposal. Like they're traveling to connect with someone dealing with a partnership, a date or something. Or they were this person's it's like they're traveling to a marriage. Is, is it their wedding or someone else's wedding? Or a religious? A religious event? Oh, is it this person? Is this person... Uh, is this person religious? Is this gonna be like a pastor, a famous pastor that dies in a plane crash? It's something about a way. Spirit, clarify these cards. Spirit, clarify these cards. Spirit, clarify these cards. Is it a, a gospel singer, maybe? Is it a famous gospel singer that's gonna die? Spirit, clarify these cards. Spirit, clarify these cards. The lovers, which is the energy of a partnership, a relationship. So I think this person is going to die going to meet someone, going to meet their spouse at a met wedding. Or, or is this a, a famous couple that's going to die and one of them is a tourist? bunch of cards just fell down so i'm gonna use what i have i was gonna be trying to get a spirit any more messages that pertain to this accident that's gonna happen 
any more messages pertaining to the vaccine that's gonna happen is this a couple that's gonna be in an airplane crash what other messages can you give me the first has a zest for life queen energy so it is a female Is there any more messages you can give me about this accident? The plane is not going to be able to move. The plane isn't going to be able to move. Maybe runs out. Look at this shit. The tower, fire. That plane isn't going to be able to move with this chariot in reverse. I think this person is going to be traveling is with the hermit in reverse. That's distance. This person is going to be traveling a distance. And. Uh, traveling the distance with the Ace of Cups next to that to ex maybe propose to somebody express love or is going to see a wedding or going to see a baby being born they're going to something an event dealing with love or to express their love they may be traveling to someone and say hey I love you let's get married or I'm, they're going to propose to somebody but to the chariot no movement they, they're not going to have no willpower and control over what this incident is going to happen it's almost like this plane is not going to be able to move. Is it maybe it's going to get stuck or something? Clean the cups in reverse. Water and water energy. Plane's going to crash in water. And then you got the tower. It's gonna crash in water and ignite in fire. See, the tower card is also person transformation, which death is person transformation, but it's a disaster as well. This accident is gonna be in a fire. And the, look, 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 I'm going to just pick up the cards how it is and look at what's in the bottom the justice card I think that popped up in his reading Libra and GC so that's going to be an accident I feel like that's going to happen in October of this year or next year and people are going to feel like it's really not fair so look out for October of this year, next year, I I'm, I'm signing off. It made me feel really weird. I don't want this to happen. Hope the energies could change, but maybe like a female pastor or a female gospel singer. Those are the messages I got. Bye.